I've just done a major makeover on my pantry and it's become a minimalist's dream. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little different because I've just done a major, major makeover on my pantry. I've kind of treated it a little bit in the same way that I would treat my closet and oh my gosh, the pantry is absolutely amazing. I also learned a whole lot of tips and tricks along the way of what to do and what not to do. So in today's video, I'm sharing the whole process with you and also sharing those really key tips to ensure that you get the best out of your pantry too. And just a word of warning, my pantry was a complete disaster zone. It was bursting at the seams. I could never find anything, despite the fact that I'd tried to organize it before. But now I know why it wasn't working before, and I've found the secret to getting it right, and oh, it's just made my life so much easier. So come along and see what I did. Okay, this is where I started from, and as you can see, it is a mess. But I have also tried to create a little bit of order, but not with much success. So as you saw in that last clip, I had actually tried to order things in the past, but what I had found is that I'd really only been a bit half-hearted about it. So I decided to go all in and grab some really cool storage containers. I'd had FOMO seeing people online with these really cool Simplify My Home containers. So I decided to go all in and get all matching containers to give myself the best possible chance to have the pantry of my dreams. And that's why this is my first tip because it really does make a big difference to get really good storage containers that not only work well for you but are in my mind visually appealing as well because what you are wanting to try and create is a really calm appealing space where everything has its place and you can easily find things so my number one tip is to find some storage containers that you love that are airtight that work really well for you and that will be a great starting point for a really well organized pantry. Now this next tip may seem a little simplistic, but it's always a good idea to wash in warm soapy water your new containers. And hey, even if you're reusing some containers, now's probably a good time to give them a little bit of a wash. Now I was pretty excited to see all of my new and clean containers and baskets all lined up ready to be labeled. Now it may be okay if you know where everything is in your pantry, but perhaps not everyone in the family knows what everything is in those jars, so I definitely recommend labeling. Now this company Simplify My Home actually offers standard labels which I grabbed. I will probably get some bespoke labels for some of the bits and pieces that are kind of just unique to me, but these labels were really easy to apply and not only are they aesthetically pleasing, but they do make a, a lot of sense as well. So you can clearly see and tell the difference between similar items in your pantry, like for instance, flour and maybe icing sugar and things that may look a little bit the same. So I definitely recommend labeling all of your containers.
Now there's no real way around this but you need to remove absolutely everything out of your pantry. You need to start with a clean slate and think of it in the same way you would your closet. If you were Marie Kondoing your closet you take absolutely everything out and start from fresh. So that's what I'm doing here. And I just put everything on the bench and laid it out in baskets on the floor as well. But you really do need just to remove everything from your pantry to get a good look at what you're starting with. Now this may seem like a little bit of a no-brainer but once you've got absolutely everything out of your pantry now is the time to clean all of those shelves so that's what I'm doing here I'm just spraying and wiping them all down and making sure that they are clean it's not often you get the chance to actually get everything out and give everything a good clean so now's a perfect time to do exactly that Hi, I just thought I'd jump in here because I think I've officially reached the hardest part in this whole process and that's deciding what food items need to go where and in what containers and it's making me think that the whole process is a little bit similar to when you're reorganizing and making over your wardrobe it's about selecting the items and certainly in your wardrobe the pieces that need to be front and center and this has me a little bit perplexed actually because I'm struggling to kind of think about the the main foods that we as a family all reach for um, on a daily basis so they deserve the VIP canisters and they also deserve to be right at the very front and right at eye level in the pantry so I'm trying to work out what those foods are so that I can start organizing the pantry but it's quite overwhelming when you see your pantry and it's a big open space and it's about sort of starting afresh and trying to make it work harder for you so I've kind of been shuffling the shelves around a little bit and also just trying to work out what I really want um, on display because there are plenty of items that I kind of have put in the pantry but they're things that I hardly ever use and there's also plenty of things that have expired that were taking up space in the pantry that really shouldn't have been so that's been an interesting process as well I've actually thrown out lots of things that had expired and I actually even found things that I didn't even know were there because they were sort of stuffed behind things and that's part of this process as well making sure that everything is really easily accessed and you can see everything as well I found this beautiful where is it here it is cake mix that I had completely forgotten about because it had been stuffed at the back of the pantry so it's things like this that need a dedicated spot because otherwise that's what happens they do just kind of get hidden and forgotten about so this is the process that I'm going through now what goes where and I'm a little bit overwhelmed but I know that I just have to sort of get past this hump and carry on and then I will I know I'm going to be really pleased with the result but I've just got to keep going <laughs> And then it was time to sort through and really look at what I had and I was so surprised that so many items that I had been hanging on to had actually passed their use by date and were really just not worth holding on to anymore. So there were lots and lots of bits and pieces that I actually had to throw out and that's what will not happen in the future because I'll have a really organized pantry and I won't be tossing out food because I couldn't see it or access it easily so this part was pretty overwhelming there was lots of stuff as you can see everywhere but it was all ready to be decanted from its packets and put into those shiny new containers Now 
Now this is actually probably the most important part of the whole process and so I did spend a little bit of time rethinking where I placed everything in the pantry and the items that I wanted to use and access more often they needed to be at eye level and items like snack foods could be well down in the bottom of the pantry because they're not items that I certainly want to be accessing all the time but as you can see everything is really organized it's really ordered everything has a name on it so you know what you are using I also grabbed this little turntable which I find super handy just for accessing all of the condiments and jams and honeys and things this basket here is for my potatoes because I always kind of stored them away and forgot about them and of course fruit which I wanted at eye level so that it was easy to see and yeah some little sweet treats as well. Now I decided to put my cans down here in one of these bins because I had them front and center in my old pantry and I don't actually use can, can products very often. These products here are also items that I've bought and are ready to use. I just store my soy milk and almond milk in this bin and really everything has its place and I think that's a really important part as well. These are the boys lunch snack treat foods and as I said they're in the bottom of the pantry not as easy to access but they are still there all in one basket. I also think it's really important to have a basket that is empty because you will always come home from the supermarket with extra items and this is kind of a place to put them. Also if you've got wine bottles or other bottles you do need space. That's one of the key tips here is to also create some space in your pantry. If when you're making it over everything is chock-a-block well then you are going to get caught short when you get back from the supermarket as you can see here this is the before it was crammed there were so many items that I just wasn't using and reaching for regularly that were front and center and didn't need to be there now I have a minimalist pantry I can see when things need restocking and it's so easy Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. And please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see any more minimalism style videos or home organization style videos, because I had so much fun creating this one. So let me know in the comments below if this is the sort of thing that you would like to see. But thanks again for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.